Oh, I love it. Well, yes. Noel's here to tell us more about this new suit. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. I've missed you. Oh, hang on a minute. I can't take hang on you a minute. To... Hang on. I've been in the Bear Cop tent. I'm in. We know, we you know. Just I can't. Call How are you? Yourself. I've really missed you. I can't so take this you. seriously. I know. I know. This is, this is, we're all on the telly now. Yeah. I know. This is crazy. What happened? That's I'm an admin error. I'm in error. this morning mode now. Oh, it's different for you. You've got to yeah, take it seriously. Yeah, a little bit. I have different hats. Nice, yeah. nice yeah. cushions. Can I take that one with me? Yeah, go for it, George. Okay, yeah. No, this series. Now, you know, it's like you work in telly and you'll see someone doing something yeah. and you think, good on them. But this is, I can honestly say the first time in, in my entire career I've seen someone do a show, I'm like, I'm actually jealous of you doing this because this has got it all. Oh. It, you can dress up, period, yeah. comedy, great cast. I mean, you, how, cast. how long did it take you from writing it to actually getting it on? Five years. Wow. I, I know, we did a pilot, but then there was the pandemic and all of that stuff, and then there was a few things that put it right back. But Apple has stuck with us, really. They've been amazing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the, the, Look at that. the, the cast's crazy. Yeah. There's so many good people in it. You two should be in it. You well, look great well, in thigh-high boots. Well, what, I, what I was actually doing there was a slow <laughs> angle into that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, but for the next series. really flat here, and then go, are you doing a series too? Just I can be a beggar at the side of the road, just lobbing old veg at me. Just text me up, and I've got loads of thigh-high boots at my house, so if not, I'm just in. come round and we'll get dressed up. I am all over it. So how did you decide to play him? Because he's basically, essentially, he's a murderer, isn't he? Yeah, he was, I think he, I've played him in a different way. He's yeah. just, my character of Dick is uh, vegan, he's a pacifist. <laughs> <laughs> His dad was a butcher in real life, and so... Uh, yeah, Mark Heap plays my dad, who's amazing. And uh, my brother plays my cousin, Benny, um, which is quite weird. And then, but it, yeah, so he didn't want to work, he didn't want to be a butcher. So we've made out my character a, a vegan and he's a pacifist. He's not very good at riding a horse. He can't fight. He can't yeah. do anything, really. <laughs> he's, he's just got ideas. He's got... He's this, got is, this is Dick Turpin we're talking about. Yeah. This is Dick Turpin. Now, for me, doing this series for yourself, starting off... Mighty Boosh comedy, but doing yeah. the Bake Off, do you kind of find people know, do you have to remind them you're actually, actually, I'm a comedian and I'm from that world? Yeah, a little bit. I think there's a whole generation of kids that have just seen me in the tent yeah. and think that's my house and that I live with Paul yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> I do, actually. That's the dream. That's the do dream. you live with Paul Hollywood? Yeah, we've got, we've got bunk yeah. beds. <laughs> He's top bunk, obviously, but, you know. Well, he's really excited about this, isn't he? He keeps ringing me up and going, <laughs> I'm so excited. No, yeah. Do you know what? He'd be good in Dick Turpin. Oh, he'd be amazing. With his blue eyes. Yeah. What about Hugh? What's it like to work with him? Well, Hugh Bonneville was amazing because he was a little bit like Julian Barrett, actually. Mm. Similar sort of clown status and quite uh, high status and, you know, pompous. He's good at playing a sort of pompous character. Um, and we were handcuffed together for a whole episode. How did you find that? It was slightly erotic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that gives you more free reign, doesn't it, to perform? If he's, if he's doing that kind of character, you could be a bit more silly. Yeah, like childlike. And so we were, we were handcuffed together. We had to actually do a big stunt together, handcuffed together. Right. Did you do your own stunts or well, grab I, a double? I did my own stunt, just one. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you know how they got us to do it? They just didn't tell us what until we got there. What we had was to the jump stunt? off like a 60 foot high bridge on wires. And they didn't tell us. They just said, we're just going to get a shot of you up there. And yeah. then when we were up there, they went, we're just going to get a jump shot off. of you jumping off. Yeah. And I was like, are you kidding me? My knees were knocking like in a cartoon, you know, like in a it's Disney cartoon. It's amazing with telly how they do that. And they go, yeah. just jump off. And you're like, oh. And you feel like if you say no, there was like, oh, yeah. it's let us down. I looked down and there was quite a lot of stuntmen down there, like, a, you know, a gaggle of stuntmen. Going men. like this. And I thought, that's too many stuntmen for this. This is going to go wrong. <laughs> not only that, you, you know, when you're younger, you, you don't mind doing stuff yeah, like that. Fearless. When you're in your 50s and you've got yeah. two kids. Well, I know. Luckily, none of us are in our 50s. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. None of us are in our 50s. When you're 37 in the prime of your life. <laughs> and so basically, this coat's so thick, I laid it out on the floor so that if I did, <laughs> if the wire snapped, I'd just bounce back up. But you know what's weird is I was thinking, well, if this goes wrong, obviously Hugh will get the front page in the paper and yeah. I'll just be a little name in italic. Yeah, a little footnote. <laughs> Don't want to die. Oh, and him from the tent. <laughs> It'd bonkers. be like Hugh Bonneville's gone yeah. and Paddington. You'd be doing the bake-off. <laughs> <laughs> Seamless. I, I did love the Bake Off, actually. You I were did. great I, on I, it. I, I, honestly, I absolutely loved it. Because it is a bit of a nerve-wracking thing. You did you get nervous? I, know you, you I, mean, I was nervous enough, when but I... You've been yeah. on it as well. Uh, did you do it before on. you hosted it? <laughs> yeah. So every time I tell him that I was on Celebrity Stand Up to Cancer Bake Off, he's like, really? <laughs> what did you do? I did chocolate brownies. Mm. You know what I did. I have no memory of that. Was that your that. showstopper? 
No, that was the first one. My what, showstopper was terrible. It was a biscuit. Was they wanted us to recreate um, what we wanted to do when we grew up, and I wanted to be a police officer. Right. So I did like a police station. It just looked terrible. Yeah. Looked like a. Did you feel like you were auditioning for the show at that point? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I couldn't even find the oven door. I was like, where is it? <laughs> we moved that around so people can't find it. It's like but, a cat flap. <laughs> who, who's on this series? Wow, we had some good people. We didn't had some we? great people, Mal B. Oh, yeah. That Who was... was your favourite? Oh, Mel B was good, wasn't she? She was quite scary, actually. Yeah, she yeah. drank a lot of rum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't make her a bad person. No, it doesn't. That doesn't make her a bad person. But when you drink two bottles... Yeah, legend. <laughs> Danny Dyer on the front row oh, and all done. Oh, Danny, Danny Dyer was absolutely hilarious. Everything that came out of his mouth... So funny. I was crying. I don't know yeah. what it is. It's the accent, isn't it? He can so say something really, like, mundane and boring and you just start laughing. Yeah, it's exactly. a bit like yeah. you. Yeah, because if you've got an accent, you can get away with and all he had a tash. He had a bit of a, yes, a tash, he did. didn't he? That he kept. Yeah. <laughs> it's for a role. He kept saying, "It's not. It's not my usual tash." Yeah. He's going, "What do you reckon?" <laughs> bit porny, isn't it? What, yeah. Well, what's hilarious? When I was working with him, he had the tash, and he went, "I'm doing a Disney film." I'm like, "Oh, this is things have too good turn for the worse here." What kind of Disney film's this going to be? Get in the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, but I'm looking forward to it because I love him. I'm looking forward to it. Him and Donald Duck. I can't wait. <laughs> How do you think television has changed from when you started out? Wow. I mean, I we did The Mighty Boosh and it was it was quite a low budget. You know, it was a small, it's BBC Free. So if we wanted a stagecoach in The Mighty Boosh, we'd have to make it out of yeah. balsa wood and then, <laughs> and then yeah. animate it. Did you make it would be cardboard. Pots? Yeah. I think the great thing about making any kind of telly these days is there's not much criticism. No. There's yeah. no one really speaks about it. You never hear anyone's opinions. You can just do your show, <laughs> put it on the telly. No one ever speaks about it. Do you feel that sort of weight? Yeah. You because know, it's, it's a big comedy series. You've seen the trailer. Are you ready for people going, is that him out the bake off? I didn't yeah. know he did. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I've had my fair share of ups and downs. Yeah. The boosh, we were quite lucky. It was the first thing we did and people liked it. But we were underdogs then, you know? Mm. People didn't really know who we were. Yeah. And then uh, once you're in the bake-off, you're... Yeah, you're a sick. You're big time now, ain't you, know? Well, you know. <laughs> you are. Luckily, we got Prue and Paul to protect yeah. us. Yeah, we have. <laughs> oh, well, we're very excited. The, the completely made-up adventures of Dick Turpin premieres globally... Can you wow. that? Globally. Today, Big exclusively time. on Apple TV Plus. Love it. So make sure you tune in. He's really good. I actually saw it. Have I you seen it? I secretly saw his driver Did let you? me watch an episode and he's brilliant. You've Absolutely just got his amazing. driver sacked live on telly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, Carlos. Carlos is, he ain't going nowhere, <laughs> Carlos. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Carlos. you. Thanks,